You think you know the planet you live on? What if I told you that right now? Earth is losing its moon. The moon is drifting away. Every year, the moon moves 3.8 centimeters farther from Earth. In millions of years, it'll look like just a tiny dot in the sky. And tides, circadian rhythms, even the climate will drastically change. School doesn't focus on long-term cosmic effects. The moon is our stabilizer, but it's slowly leaving. Earth's atmosphere extends beyond the moon. Did you know Earth's atmosphere doesn't stop at 100 kilometers up? Scientists found that traces of hydrogen stretch as far as 630,000 kilometers. That's well past the moon's orbit. It feels like sci-fi. Earth is surrounded by a gigantic breathing bubble in space. You're moving us literally. If you're in North America, you're drifting toward Europe at two to three centimeters a year. We're standing on tectonic plates, like rafts floating on a sea of molten rock. It's taught in school, but rarely with any sense of scale. Earth isn't static. It's alive, shifting, expanding. Most of Earth's gold came from space. After Earth formed, almost all of its gold sank into the core. The gold we mine today, it's from meteor showers that bombarded the planet long after. We think of gold as purely Earth-made. There might be pieces of ancient stars in your jewelry. Earth is not just a planet. It's a cosmic anomaly, a time machine, and a stage for epic processes. And we're its temporary witnesses.